Hi, I'm Denise Gagne and I'm here today to talk about outside music classes. I live in Alberta where it snows right into May and so we don't get very much outside time and when it does get nice everybody wants to be outside, teachers and students included. I really enjoy taking my classes outside. There are some things that work far better outside than they do inside. For example, singing games, especially where they involve chasing. Outside, you can actually let the kids run. Where inside, especially in your music class, you're cramped and you always have to find a way to slow them down. But outside, let them run. So games like Lucy Locket, Mouse Mousy, Charlie Over the Ocean, Tisk at a Tasket, all those games are lots of fun. I wanted to focus on one that's not so well known and that's Frog in the Middle. So I put a frog in the middle of the circle with their hands outstretched and as we sing the song, the frog turns. And at the end of the song, the two children that the frog is pointing to step outside of the circle. They run in the same direction so there's no danger of a collision and they run back to their spots in the circle and they clap my hands and the first one to clap the hands is the winner. And at that point they sit down where they are in the circle so we know they've had their turn and the frog also goes back to their place and sits down. So three at a time, have turns. Um, the, the song is frog in the middle, can't get him out, take a big stick and stir them all about. So I sing it as do, do, la, so. So it's good preparation for those grade twos for singing lo, la, lo, so in grade three. It's just fun. Other people do sing it to different melodies, but I learned this melody and that's the one that I use for Frog in the Middle. Um, Ickle Ockle in Music Play 5 is another really fun game. Much more fun to play outside than in. The students all join hands and they sing Ickle ockle blue bottle fishes in the sea If you want a handsome fish just catch me And I choose from my right. I choose the first person to my right is a fish. The fisherman is inside the circle. The fish is outside the circle. So the circle is the net. And the fisherman tries to go out of the circle and tag the fish before the fish can get back inside. It sounds confusing, so watch the, the, the kids demo that's at musicplayonline.com. And after you watch the kids demo, it will totally make sense. A couple of my rules are, fishermen can't leave the circle until uh, the end of the song, and fish can't go back in until the fisherman is out. And that way they don't crash hits, which I have had happen on occasion. But this game is fun to do outside. In fact, the kids demo that's at musicplayonline.com is outside because it's a fun game to play outside. Um, music Play 2, Hill, Hill, Come Over the Hill. Again, the kids demo at musicplayonline.com is outside because it's more fun than in. So the kids all stand in a line. I stand here and we sing, Hill, hill, come over the hill, or else I'll catch you standing still. And the kids all try to run past me to the other side, but I tag as many as I can on the way, and then they become my helpers. And then we would face this way and sing the song again, and they would try and chase past. So eventually you get the whole, whole class caught. So you can find all these at musicplayonline.com, or you can find many of them, uh, most of them, in fact, even a few extras, in the Singing Games collection. So Singing Games Children Love Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3 for K-3, and Volume 4 for grades 4 to 6. Another activity that works better outside than in is recorder composition. 30 recorder players playing inside your classroom at the same time will not only drive you crazy, but the classrooms on either side of you are going to get driven crazy. But it's really good for kids to, to try recorder composing. So I generally try and leave this until the end of the year. So what I start them with is this template. And the heartbeats are for them to write the rhythms. So I get them to first write the rhythms. I restrict my students to ta, ti, ti, and rest. Yes, they can read and write ticka tickas, but they can't play them very well on the recorder. So it works much better if you just restrict them to ta, ti, ti, and rest. And then you restrict them to the notes that they have learned and can play well. So most of my classes by the end of the school year, my grade fours and my grade fives, would be very comfortable with B, A, G, E, and sometimes D, most often D. So I restrict them to those notes. 
They have to end on G or on E. That's the rules. They can start on whatever note they want to, but they must end on G or on E. And if they do that, you can accompany with a Bordeaux on the xylophones and it always sounds beautiful. If they end on G, it means they've ended in G major. So your Bordeaux would be G and D. If they end on E, they would have ended in E minor and your Bordeaux would be on E and on G. Um, we're gonna show you a, an example of a student composition. And it's very simple for the students to do. Every single kid in my class was able to successfully write a recorder composition. They first write the letters under the rhythm that they've written. Then they, when, when I've approved it, they transcribe to the staff. So this is an excellent recorder composition template. It's already in the files at the Music Play Teachers Group on Facebook. Um, another activity I've done outside at the end of the year is boomwhacker compositions. And I generally ask them to do simply rhythmic compositions, not melodic, but to incorporate movement with it. And they've come up with some really cool things. The boys' boomwhacker compositions often involve sort of play fighting. The girls' compositions are a little more sophisticated dance type moves, especially if you have a lot of kids in your class that do dancing. Drumming and bucket drumming also much nicer outside than it is inside. If you have a set of playground balls that you can take outside, games like Plainsies Clapsies work so nicely outside with playground balls. Inside, just stick to the bean bags because the balls will be flying around your room. But outside, give them a chance to actually try it. Skipping rhymes. Kids don't skip on the playground anymore. So if the teacher, the music teacher and the phys ed teacher don't keep skipping going, it's gonna be an activity that's lost. So in Singing Games Volume 2, there's a lot of skipping rhymes in here. Cinderella dressed in yellow went upstairs to meet her fella. Um, but these skipping rhymes are here, ones I remember from my childhood and that my children brought home from school. So teach the skipping rhymes and take them outside and let them skip. Great way to burn off energy at the end of the school year. So these are some ideas for outside music games. You'll find uh, more ideas if you join the Music Play Teachers Group on Facebook because we share ideas with each other. Also follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, our hashtag is Music Play Online. Our YouTube channel is Themes and Variations and we're on Pinterest as well.